First off, sorry for the clickbait thumbnail. I don't normally talk about this because I believe video games, especially fighting games, is all about having fun and to batter yourself. But I noticed this and I wanted to talk about it. So in some recent fighting games, you can change and customize the color of your character. Not just the costume, but you can also change the color of their skin. This is especially so with anime fighters such as Guilty Gear Atsuka and Melty Blood Type Lumina. You can change a blue-eyed blonde woman with pale skin into basically a black person. Now, I do not like whitewashing, blackwashing or race swapping. However, if the developers have created a system where you can change or customize a character's skin, then I have no problem with it. And I'll explain why in this video. The thing with certain anime styles, especially Moe, they're not really meant to look real. Characters are meant to look cute yet stylized. There was a video a while back describing that the inspiration of this cute style came from the faces of cats. It's why this character on the right is Japanese Asian and the character on the left is Caucasian. But they have similar features thanks to the art style. The only defining trait is hair and eye colour. The reason why they have white skin is because it's easier to draw since a lot of anime was adapted from manga so they can look the same. It's actually one of the beautiful things about Japanese anime. Race isn't a thing in most anime. With anime, colours can stand out, crazy colourful unnatural hair, etc. With fighting game characters, the character is essentially an avatar of the player. With great customization features and options, you can have great player expression. However, I've noticed a negative and some hateful responses to this. So there is a Guilty Gear character called Ram the Fall Valentine, a dark-skinned artificial human with golden eyes who was created as a biological weapon. Ram the Fall is a genetic clone of Aria Hale, a Caucasian American woman. So a lot of fans love Ram the Fall's dark skin and so do I, she's a beautiful chocolate babe. However, I noticed some players hate this costume colour that you can select. A colour that changes the skin tone of the character. In fact, there are players who despise this costume colour so much to the point that they feel it is racist and evil to play this colour. The red and black costume colour in particular is a homage to the original Valentine character from Guilty Gear 2. Ramlethal is basically a palette swap in terms of colour design. We're at the point in video games where we can make yet change a character that has black features and can make them have pale white skin. Same goes with Caucasian features with black skin. Heck, you can give them blue or green skin if the customization options allow it. The other Guilty Gear character is Nagori Yuki. Nagori Yuki is a black man who has colour 9 costume. In the costume colour 9, he wears orange and has pale skin and white hair. In one of my videos, I stated that this reminds me of a person who has albinism. Albinism is a rare genetic mutation that affects the amount of melanin our body produces. People born with the condition have pale white skin, pale white or blonde hair. It can affect any race. Heck, the new Street Fighter 6 character Aki is a person with albinism. Now I get why some people would take offense to race swapping or changing colors to certain characters. Changing Nagori Yuki's skin to white who is essentially a black character can be insulting because people believe black Americans are not represented much in today's culture, especially western culture. However, this is a Japanese video game and if we're talking about representation in the world, we have to acknowledge everyone. If you think black Americans have it rough as of the year 2023, and it is nothing compared to the racism and hatred that an African with albinism goes through. In African countries such as Tanzania and Malawi, Africans who are born with albinism and have white skin are shunned, abused and are killed. In the 21st century, children who have albinism are seen as cursed individuals and are sentenced to death in some of their own tribes. The mother of these children are shamed, tortured or in some cases killed as well. The ignorance that I received came from my own people more than anything. 
the most racism that I experienced, ironically, came from black people. Mm. You see, I believe that having color nine Nagaro Yuki, making him look like a person who has albinism, is a great thing for representation. Thanks to love, trust and acceptance, we now live in a world where there are people who have black African features but with pale skin. Mixed race people are now incredibly more acknowledged and accepted than they were over 100 years ago. If developers give you the freedom to create and customize characters with such features, then it should be accepted. When I see different cultures with different demographics, I understand why there is a lack of representation. For example, a country in China that is dominantly inhabited with Asian people will no doubt cast more Asian people in their movies and TV shows. Same with African TV shows and movies using dominant black cast. Back in the 90s, even the UK featured commercials with different people of different races. With the United States, I've seen people like actual white people complain that there isn't any representation for black people. And that simply is not true in my own view and experience. Movies such as Black Panther featuring a black superhero isn't the first superhero movie with a black lead. Before the MCU way back in the 90s, we had Blade and Spawn, both black comic heroes. TV shows such as Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Desmond's were very popular for its time. Heck, Desmond's is the longest running sitcom of the British TV channel 4. I noticed a trend of artists turning anime characters black and I don't really have a problem with that because that's just expression but if you were to change a black character into a Japanese one or a British white person would that be acceptable? The reason why they have to paint the characters black is because from what I've been told they feel that they were not represented in their favorite anime shows. The problem with that is sadly, Japanese anime shows are not made for black Americans. And I don't think they ever will be. They are not the target audience unless we start to see more mixed race Japanese families living in Japan, then and only then we might see more black characters. But I got to ask like, why not create your own anime? Actually, while researching this video, I found out that there are actual anime with dark skin characters. One is called Cannon Busters on Netflix. You have Neo Yokio, Afro Samurai, The Boondocks. There are actually anime made for black Americans. I for one love the Castlevania series and that contains black characters too. So why are we arguing about representation? We are now in the era, in a time in this world, where there is representation on TV and movies. All I know is there seems to be a big racial problem within the political and cultural climate of the United States, and it has to stop. We do not judge people on the color of their skin, but the content of their character. I for one absolutely love the fact that we can customize and create our own fighting game characters and give them whatever skin tone we wish to give them. We can create absolutely crazy, somewhat monstrous designs as well if, if we wanted to. My friend once told me that if I posted this video, I would get a lot of hate, but I am only speaking facts. If I do get hate, and I will quote the very famous black American, Martin Luther King Jr. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Also, I gotta ask, why the hate? Thanks to globalization, love, and acceptance, the world is changing, and hopefully for the better. It is not as bad as it was 100 years ago. Many people of many races have more chances than there ever was years ago. It's not about skin color or race anymore. Yes, we must not forget the past, and we must not remain ignorant. We still need to work on our tolerance, especially to others' ideologies and opinions. But we must live in a world where we have to destroy ignorance and hatred. 
and we have to be accepted. So that's all I can say on this. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think. What's your opinions on this? Uh, tell me, yeah, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? What are your feelings on it? Yeah, and I hopefully like we're just going in a world now where everyone's going to look different and have different colors and different features and it's going to be a good time hopefully in the future we will be accepted everyone is accepted and there is no hatred we forget about the hatred and we don't judge people on the basis of their ancestors or what their ancestors did years ago racism has to stop anyway yes thank you for watching please like the video share it please comment below and if you're interested in my other videos and fighting game content, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.